Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with rational expressions. We're given that x divided by x squared plus x plus 3 equals n. And we're supposed to evaluate x squared over x to the fourth plus x squared plus 9 in terms of n. And I'll be presenting three methods, even though one of the methods will be incomplete. I'll give you the idea and you can finish the rest. First method. I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply here. And I'll put everything on the same side. And then use the quadratic formula. Simplify this. This will give us n squared minus 12 n squared. That'll be negative 11 n squared minus 2 n plus 1 under the radical. Uh oh, this is quite complicated, isn't it? Now you're going to need to square both sides to get x squared and then square both sides one more time to get x to the fourth and then plug it into the second expression. Okay? Let me show you a little bit. When you square something like this, this will be squared. Let's just go with the plus sign, okay? This will be squared. And then plus 2ab. The radical, you get the idea. And 2m will be squared. This is x squared, you need to simplify this, like just doing the numerator. And here we can kind of simplify this, that, and that. That's a lot of work, isn't it? This is just x squared. Then you need to square this one more time to get x to the fourth power. Did you realize it's going to be super duper messy? Right? That's why it's the first method. Inconclus inconclusive. I mean, anyways, we'll stop at this point, okay? And let's continue with the second method. So for my second method, I'm going to go ahead and do something differently, okay? Obviously, that wouldn't be second otherwise, right? So we start with this. And I want to go ahead and cross multiply again. This time, differently, I want to isolate the x squared. Notice 1x minus nx. Now if you divide everything by n, great. This gives us a formula, x squared in terms of x. In other words, we were able to write x squared as a linear function of x. And guess what? We can do the same thing with x to the fourth. We just need to square both sides. And when we do, We get this and then that, right? This is x to the fourth. And then replacing x squared with what it is one more time. Replace x squared with 1 minus n over nx minus 3 plus 9 minus 6 times this. And then when you this kind of rearrange the terms, you're going to realize you can find x to the fourth as ax plus b. A and b are going to be in terms of n. And then you can take that. I think this was the second expression, right? Am I, am I correct? Okay. And then you would just go ahead and plug it in here for x to the fourth, this one. But of course, this needs to be simplified like this times this times x. 
and then this is a constant, this is a constant, that's in terms of x, you'll have to combine them. Again, a lot of work, right? Way too much work. That's why we have something called the third method, which is usually the best, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So we have the following. Again, notability and the uh, Apple Pencil going crazy all over the place. I don't know why. This is equal to N. We're going to go ahead and flip both sides. Y, you'll see, split up. By the way, let me make sure I write this original expression correctly. Sorry, the top should be an X, not X squared. Top should be an X, so let's fix it real quick. Okay, now. When we split, this should give us x plus 1 plus 3 over x equals 1 over n. Subtract 1. Make a common denominator. And this gives us, let me write it one more time, the following. Okay? So far, so good. Now square both sides to get to the x to the fourth. Okay? 2ap gives, gives us 6. Let's leave it at, at, as that. Now, what is my expression, right? What am I trying to find? This. Am I getting there? Okay, maybe you call this y and then flip. And then separate. And then isolate x squared plus 9 over x squared. Make a common denominator. Great. Now, you do have this. If you subtract 6 from both sides, it's going to cancel out. Right? So you can go ahead and plug this in. Because we're looking for what? We're looking for y. Okay. So x squared plus 9 over x squared is equal to this which is 1 minus n over n squared minus 6. That's equal to 1 minus y over y. And remember, our goal is to solve for y, right? This is what we're trying to find. Cool. Let's do it. How do we do it? Here's a slightly easier way to do it. Let's call this a, a lot of substitution, right? And we have 1 minus y over y equals a. And then 1 minus y equals a y. a y plus y equals 1. y times a plus 1 equals 1. And y is equal to 1 over a plus 1. Remember, we're looking for y. And the answer is 1 over a plus 1. So 1 over, what's a? That expression. See? Power of substitution. This is a. And then plus 1, right? And of course, if you simplify this, you'll get the answer, but guess what? That's for you to do. <laughs> and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.